You know, black folks, just showing you a star. Everybody keeps on asking about super giants. We'll start throwing a little bit of the super giants in there. 38 mass, okay, is that hip number, okay? Now let's show you where that bugger's at. 38 masses of the sun, folks. 38 times the size of the sun. Way back in the super giants, okay? We're also going to show you some shots where the, everything's at. Okay, this is earlier this fall, so the idea that the sun's probably farther back in here now in the super giants. Super giants main sequence here. So keep in mind, we got Rigel Canteris B, and we also got, uh, now Rigel Canteris B is 4.39 light years away, okay? Long ways, but not that far when you think about space, okay? It's not that far. Uh, Rigel Canteris A is closer than what I thought, because it's moved a lot. Uh, Proxima Centauri, Proxima Centauri, okay, is at the very tip of the front of... The super giants. It's right up there. It's right on the tip right now. Okay. I.e., remember the sun's a little farther back. So, Proxima Centauri and Rigel Cantaris B and Rigel Cantaris A are our close objects. Now, remembering how damn far back this is. Okay, 5,923 light years, and then that. Rigel can in the 38 mass. Now, there is stuff that's 74 times the mass that's in the supergiants, okay, folks? I.e., distance-wise, that one is, w at normal, it's way back here. But right now, they're up and in, in the supergiants, from what I can tell. Sometimes, they fall back out of the supergiants. Those two, the uh, hip 54, 463 actually falls back sometimes, okay? So... Sometimes it falls out, and basically, I guess most of the time it is back behind the super giants, right on the right on the back cusp. Then you got to realize if you really believe in <laughs> God is probably hanging out on a 747, 747 times the size of the sun. Okay, V three eight two Carinea, Carinea, Carinea. The star in the constellation Carina, or Carina. All right. So there's the stats on it to the right. Okay. And that's just a rendition. Twenty twenty-two five px is thirty-nine masses. Okay. But this bugger here is 747 times the size of the sun. V38 to Carinea. Can you imagine? 747. We are a speck of salt up there by the sun, folks. So a cruiser here can throw you the axis and still off on the pole at that Antarctica there on the and satellite action. And we know that something's up with Mercury, and I got some pictures on that real fast. And basically it's going to be that. I got it zoomed in at 1,000. Because either that or it's Lovejoy up there. But Lovejoy is way more humongous than what we thought. Because remember, that's the sun, folks. Remember how large it is. And then this is flipped on this shot. So that basically that darker area blocks out on the A-head shot. And you don't get to see it. We see it from behind. Which is basically behind is... That should be behind the red satellite right there. And then that's Mars. And as you notice, they've been hiding out in a box. So we really think it's Mars that's on fire. I mean, uh, Mercury. Sorry, folks. So as I was popping through the pictures, there's Rigel Cantaris A. You see? So, and then Proximi Centauri. So the sun's probably behind Rigel Cantaris A by now. And that's probably what all this flaring has been about is because, and there's where B's at. And we showed you earlier where the sun's at. Uh, previously, the sun was right there. So more than likely the sun's back a little farther or still there because and that's what it's all this banging up has been going on about. Now let's watch a video here that's fresh. Here's fresh video, folks. of, And you'll see these lines that show up too. And that's all material and dust and space and, and uh, CM, CME basically going through space because the sun's going ape shit. It's getting his ass kicked by the super giants, ladies and gentlemen. It ain't no shit. I'm not pulling no shit on you. The super giants are banging the living shit out of the sun, folks. It's getting its ass kicked. Thank God there's way more than one sun up there. There's over 100 of them, okay? But they're hella big. We follow the sun, ladies and gentlemen. 
Okay, we're at an all-time closeness to the sun, and this is when the sun is supposed to be the farthest away from us in the winter solstice. Okay, so there's video today of it getting its ass kicked in the supergiant's main sequence, folks. I just accidentally got that to happen, but that's a pretty good wake every, make every people wake up. Okay, it's in the supergiant's main sequence. And it's getting its ass kicked, okay? Now, these lines that you'll see are comets and stuff that are flying through space. And also, we've got some interesting stuff on pictures. So, remember, 3D, remember how they say in the stats? So, Proximi Centauri and Rigel Cantaris A, that's how they're aligned. And then, Rigel Cantaris B is behind that. And then, we know the sun is pretty much right there with them. So as we rotate and the sun rises every day, now there is more than likely mercury or that is a blow up a thousand percent of what we end up seeing up there. And remember, the sun's humongous, folks. So remember how big that damn thing is. So if that is that we're getting from Stereo B, if that is, uh, and also I'm trying to find out if this was the moon. Hang on. And punch this in on Lovejoy because you can follow Lovejoy. It's C slash 211W3. Okay, so you can bring it up on the player. And this is about the best position I can have you for you so you can see everything separated. It's in alignment with Mercury right now as it's moving away in Venus. So the idea that if it is Lovejoy up there, i.e. the photos I just showed you, as you can see the Mercury's there right next to Lovejoy. I can't blow this up. I can't blow JP up. But as I just showed you on the photos, the idea that it's either Mercury or Lovejoy up there, but there's a good chance the idea that Mercury might have got a flash when it got close to the sun when we showed you those pictures a long time ago in my last video's last half dozen or so. All right, and there's Earth, Lovejoy, and the guy got a camera shot this morning. Okay, I can go ahead and let you know this. It's by Colin Legg, and I found this. Is, if anybody's went to space weather, you could see it, and then you can go ahead and play the movie. So I'll go ahead and hit it and play it for you. And he got it going down. And I'm pretty sure it's the moon, but then I was what I was interested to do is I'm interested in finding and seeing if this w is, uh, and there's basically it. I can save some video time because that's pretty much all it ends up being is like that. And he's got the moon up there or either that or it could possibly be Rigel Cantaris B or Centauri. Okay. And it's the, basically the big brightness there that we see and it might be what we see bright in the sky over... Uh, in Hawaii too. So there, basically, there it was. He caught Lovejoy this morning. So that's the picture. Stuck with the advertisement there. So there he caught it, and basically, but it goes pretty fast. So we'll hit play again, and there he goes. He caught it, and also we got the blue planet there. So it's also to check that out. We need to find out what planet we got that's setting there in the and it's in Australia and he's got the time for it so I'm interested in checking that out seeing what if that's our baby blue kachina that's setting there that he caught there as you see this is the love joy here right but what is that that's setting okay so I've been interested in and I was looking at uh, the time and so forth so I'm gonna pop that in private will ride telescope next video maybe also, go down and check this out. Get this video downloaded on your deal because the idea this is badass from about 5 o'clock on here. There's objects coming across the sky with, see, bam, if you've seen that, just watch the sky here at 5 o'clock on on this. Let me go show you some pictures real fast that I took from it. As I find those shots, check this out. This was fresh satellite shot tonight. This is GMT time. Check this out, okay? I found this object and it's flying all over the sky and I've number one noticed it because the one before this one they had it blacked out. There's a normal size of the shot. So here they had this blacked out on this side of it, right? So I started looking around at the at the Navy shot. Here's some stuff blown up on that shot. And like I say, this thing's really interesting. You end up seeing this another one and a blue one. You'll see it later. And remember the blue ones are turned around other direction, okay? So I ended up looking at some of this stuff and I'll try to stop at the most interesting of it as we're going through here on these. And basically it's this this here object there, as you see, blown up there, and then we'll find it all over the screen. So it moves around a lot. Or I'll either that or there's some V related to it. And then I blew this up too. Can this is actually got some very interesting characteristics to it. This should be right as I go back and what you'll notice is it's got a kink in it. So basically there's a planet in there. There's a planet. Okay? So that's interesting, a new planet to look at. 
or figure out what the heck is down there to all the way to the right that low. Okay? Right there is where I found it at, okay? So it's also below this very interesting object there. And here was the light that came flying through, which maybe could have been a comet, but it was like, like a crystal comet or something because it's very light colored. Okay, this is the other part of the other one up to the right. You're going to end up seeing in the pictures. And there's that object again that I had on the Navy shot. Pretty much the same thing again. So it's, it's an interesting object up there. Now this was just coming through. And it came back behind the sun, I guess, because this is ahead. And then that one there. And then there's another. Uh, that's interesting I caught from. And you'll end up seeing the time. Anything that's time close to this was that. So it's up over there. So it was up right there. And then as you see that there's that other little light beam down to the right there. But that's not really, it's just basically, we've seen this before. We've seen that stuff before. If you look at my, uh, there's been guys, and I zoomed in on this other stuff on the lower end right there. So that's a look at that. And like I say, you can see this thing, and then it's going to be all over the screen on the, on this on this area, of this, this close time area. Basically, you'll see a time pop in there. And from there to like uh, the rest of the day, from there to... And this is an interesting one here, that wilder than hell, because this thing has actually got a spiral to it. And it's not a satellite, ladies and gentlemen. It's so goddamn big, and you'll be able to see the size of the sun that it's no way that that's a goddamn satellite, okay? And basically, this already, that interesting object there that I just had there, okay? And then you can see that spiral, and check it out. You can see planets down there, too. So it's like wilder than hell, because that's an electrical static electrical because that's all like our axis is and like all the planets you see they have that wire on and this one's got a spiral to it i blew it up to three a thousand percent there 550 and i think i went to a thousand there there's a thousand percent it's got a spiral in it and there's a planet that it went right by or through or over okay it's like connected to it and then that's what i'm saying with the looking at this just wondering if this same object is these, these planets that are hooked together or something electrical and this could be the same spiral it's hard to tell okay so flopping all over and we do see triangulations like this and that's what we're seeing down at Nehemiah or problem yeah Nehemiah on the Arctic floor okay black terra hydrants and basically what it is be like they figure to be a giant crystal planet or something like that and it's got bits of coal in it or they're gigantic diamonds out there in space or something like that anyway they're planets okay and this is a very interesting object, that one there that I'm showing you that's a straight one, and also this one here is above this. Now, if you research and find out how big the supergiant is, you'll realize that that's a V also, okay? That like stars, and there's a hundred plus, there's way more than that, but there's a hundred stars bigger than the sun, four to 74 times the size of the sun, okay? And it flashes in and out, back and forth, and all them move around, okay? And then this V that we keep, I keep on talking about and stressing that the, everything's a V action up there, okay? V action, right? Now, check this out. Either Mercury on fire or Lovejoy moving away. The V, right? The V action. Everything's V. Everything's triangulation in space. I.E. V, flop. Okay? So, then, also this. Is this the same object as that swirl that we've seen before? That stuff that's moving around, okay? Because it was on the left-hand side where they tried to block it out here. Okay? So, it's back. And it's all over the place. I this is that blowed up to that. And I think I got it blowed up more. There it is. A thousand percent. Or getting close to a thousand. I got it up to a thousand. Okay? in 750 so that might be the same damn thing the swirl and the planet in the middle so we've got a very interesting object out there folks flopping around in space okay it's got a something in the middle of it and it's got a spiral because it sure matches up to be in pretty much there's a time in that shot and this stuff matches up so damn brilliantly it's got to be the same damn thing and it's flopping all over the space up there by the sun okay and also there's some really freaky looking spot there take a freeze that and take a look at that for a while it looks like a little kid sitting there and a skull sitting down here and stuff it's wild looking and that's super giants folks brings me back to this being the same damn thing as you see that planet there in the middle okay and it twists okay and this is like farther out and then when i get the other shot with this in a different place zoomed in there's another shot of it and ie was this it flopping around at the same time does it move in and out and flop back and around like that is that it is it the same damn thing it changes from straight to swirls ie remember my china video the china video that we sucked up on there remember the flopper so check that out because it's right there and it's right up there so i'm figuring this is the same damn thing up there because ie there it is blown up and there's that same object there that sure the hell looks like that there, which I also have time lapse right here. 
then zoomed in. More freaky truth. 